previously on Boot and Wildlife, we learned about the various aquatic birds that can be found here. However, there is more to the reservoir than just its aquatic habitats. The Boonton Reservoir is surrounded by miles of forests. These forests are filled with a wide variety of avian species. Among the most fascinating are the woodpeckers. Woodpeckers are tree-dwelling birds that are famous for carving holes into trees in search of insects and to make nests. One of the largest woodpeckers here is the northern flicker. The northern flicker is a very unique species due to the fact that they forage on the ground. This species can be seen foraging in dusty clearings where they search for their favorite food, ants. The downy woodpecker is the smallest as well as the most common woodpecker here. They are a common forest resident that feeds on insects and seeds. They are also frequent visitors to the backyard. They are often confused with their cousin, the hairy woodpecker, which is slightly larger. Another tree dweller is the nuthatch. Nuthatches appear to be miniature woodpeckers, however, they are more closely related to chickadees. The most common species of nuthatch here is the white-breasted nuthatch. Like woodpeckers, nuthatches can climb up trees, although the nuthatch is more advanced, being able to climb upside down and around trees. The nuthatch is the only bird that can climb down a tree head first. The woods are not the only place to find birds. In the Bhutan Reservoir, there are a series of grass-covered clearings. Many birds prefer this habitat since it makes it easier to see incoming predators, which is something that is difficult to accomplish in a dense forest. The red-winged blackbird is one of those birds. Red-winged blackbirds are named for their scarlet feathers on the tips of their wings. As its name implies, the common grackle is a familiar species here at the reservoir. The grackle travels in large groups which are called plagues. Plagues of grackles decimate corn and other crops, making them enemies to farmers. The most interesting thing about the grackle, however, are the colors of its plumage. Now the, this bird might appear to be all black, however, in specific lighting, their feathers become a glossy purple and a bronze body. These are called iridescent feathers which can be found on many different species of bird. Named after their ability to imitate the calls of other birds, the northern mockingbird is found in meadows, backyards, and woodland edges. The males are known for singing and can be seen perched in high places in order to amplify their song. A relative of the mockingbird, the blue jay is a common year-round resident. Blue jays are curious and intelligent birds that have been known to use tools in captivity. catbird is a common species that is named after their cat-like call. They inhabit forest edges with thickets for cover. Like the mockingbird, catbirds will also mimic the calls of other bird species. Eastern Phoebes are a small species of flycatcher that inhabit open woodlands. They eat small insects which they snatch out of the sky with their thin beaks. An interesting behavior of these birds have is pumping their tails up and down when perched. It is unknown exactly why they do this, however there are many theories to the purpose of tail pumping in Phoebes. Some think that this is a way to alert predators that they have been spotted. Others think that it is a way to communicate with other Phoebes. I think it might help the birds keep balance, but like everyone else, I am not entirely sure. Tree swallows inhabit open areas with few trees. These swallows have tiny legs and are perfectly designed for flight. Their long, pointy wings help them fly super fast, and this in turn helps them catch tons of insects. The Carolina wren is common in the woodlands surrounding the reservoir. They have a familiar, yet beautiful call which is only sung by the males. It sounds like this. As its name implies, the song sparrow has a beautiful song that is used when the sparrow is excited or threatened. This species is fairly common here, usually seen in fields, forest edges, and marshes. 
A while back, I actually found an injured one here before. Sadly, it passed away, but it was an incredible encounter that I will never forget. The morning dove is a peaceful bird with a mellow call. They are extremely common here, being found in fields and backyards. The most unique feature about this bird is that they feed their young a liquidy substance known as pigeon's milk. The wild turkey is a large ground-dwelling bird that was almost wiped out in the early 1900s due to overhunting and habitat loss. Today, their population has recovered and they have reclaimed their historic range. They are typically found foraging for berries, nuts, insects, small snakes, and even salamanders. Like the grackle, wild turkeys have iridescent feathers with many different colors, including green, red, and bronze. The fastest bird here is undoubtedly the peregrine falcon. This falcon can reach speeds of approximately 230 miles per hour. The peregrine falcon primarily preys on birds such as pigeons, however, they will occasionally take small mammals every so often. They will also go after some larger birds such as ducks, which gives them the nickname Duck Hawk. Here at the reservoir, a nesting pair of falcons can be seen living next to the Washington Street Bridge. The red-tailed hawk is one of the most widespread hawk species in the United States. They are easily identified by their long, reddish-brown tail feathers, which keep them stable while soaring through the skies. One interesting thing to note is that the call of the red-tailed hawk is used in various movies. These birds are also gifted with binocular vision, which helps them spot prey from far away. Once they lock onto a target, they take off. These birds are not as fast as the falcon, however, they can reach speeds of around 120 miles per hour. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like and be sure to subscribe for new wild adventures.